Hello everyone, today I will be showing you how to use Ultimate Mod Manager on Yuzu. The requirements is to have the game installed, the game update 13.01, and the DLCs. You need to have 16GB free or more in your storage. And we will start the tutorial now. All we gotta do is go to Local Disk, Users, the name of your laptop or PC, App data, if you can't see app data, click on view, hidden items, and we will see app data. Now we will go to Roman, Yusu, and then to SDMC folder. And inside there, we will create a new folder and name it Ultimate Mod Manager. We go inside it, create a new folder, and name it Mods. Inside here is where we'll be placing our mods. I already have four mods installed and we are going to download this new mod called Breath of the Wild Inspired Zelda. She will look like this and have those type of clothing like that. So I already downloaded the mod. Let's look for it. Here it is. Let's extract the file. Here's the folder. Make sure it says Fighter UI and we will drag it into our mods folder or copy it. Here it is, it's copy Fighter UI. Make sure it says that just like the everybody else. If it's a sound mod, it will say sound. The other one say Fighter UI. Sonic says Effect Fighter Sound UI. Disclaimer, if the mods don't say they work for UMM, like this one, Ultimate Mod Manager installation, for use installation, use, use mod, Ultimate Mod Manager, and follow the instructions. If it doesn't say that, like for example, Black Yoshi doesn't actually indicate that it's for Ultimate Mod Manager. Seto Kaiba does say it is for Ultimate Mod Manager. It's for both RCA. ARC installer and ultimate mod manager but shadow doesn't say that and that's why on his left eye we will see a glitch on the left eye but it still works so you can just check if it's working or not so let's go with this one made by lucky Jiro. got our mod we pasted it in the mods Folder. We have our mods ready. So now we can go to Yusu. We're gonna right click on, on the game, dump ROMs, dump ROMs to SDMC, and when we click that, we will be prompted with a window that says base and OK. Click OK. Then it will prompt to another window. Click on OK there. And it will take 30 minutes to create a new folder called Atmosphere. We need that so we can use Ultimate Mod Manager. So after the 30 minutes, we will have a new folder in Local Disk, Users, your name of your PC, App Data, Roaming, Yuzu, SDMC, and now we have Atmosphere. If we go to Atmosphere, Contents, the name of the game, you need to find it. You can go to the Yuzu and um, Properties, and it says Title ID, that's the name of the game. That's the ID, so we look for that one here. I already know it's this one for me. We go inside, ROMs, and in here, data.arc is a new thing that got created by doing by dumping the ROMs and it weighs 16.3 gigabytes that's why you need those gigabytes to be free and it also creates this dot nrr once we have that once we know we have that and Yusu said it created it and we see that it weighs 16.3 gigabytes and we have the dot nrr we can click ok on Yusu and now that we have this and we make sure that we do have our mods in our mods folder 
everything is ready to be launched. Now we will go to Yusu, File, Load File, and look for Ultimate Mod Manager NRO. Make sure you have downloaded it from the description. And if you can't find it, you know, you can't open it from the description, we can just write it from here. And here it will be in GitHub. But I will link it down in the description. Once we're in Ultimate Mod Manager, we we'll scroll down the release page. Make sure it's this version. 1.50 and we download the mod ultimate mod manager and that's how I was able to load low file and open it from there now it has launched and it's this one so as you can see the mods that I already have installed are blue and the one I haven't installed is on white so this one is the one we're gonna install you're gonna use your controller to install it and it says that A is install and Y is uninstall. We want to install it so we will press the A. It's installing the mod. We will install the mod and once it's installed now we can now go into the game. If it says successful it has installed it we go to file emulation stop open the game the game will launch with the new mod and we're supposed to see exactly this soda how she looks like that this these instructions will be in the description with the mods that I'm also using which are these She is replacing right now, let's see, one, two, three. She's replacing three unless it's counting zero, one, two. Yeah, if it's counting by zero, it is replacing the correct one. Let's select her. see how she looks zoom in on her and if we compare with the page yeah we got our mod running correctly this is a nightmare song <laughs> Yeah, and she works. Everything's fine. I am using one. 
I am using one pan right now, so... Now I'm gonna show you the other mods I have installed in this in this game. It's one about Zero Kaiba, which is his mod of his voice mod. One with Black Yoshi instead of Dark Blue Yoshi and Shadow over Sonic. So let's choose our Zelda. Let's choose. In this stage, we can't see them well. Let's choose another stage. Here you can see that Shadow does have a white, uh, left blue eye. That's because the mod was not made for Ultimate Mod Manager, but it still works. The other ones are for Ultimate Mod Manager, except Black Yoshi. I really don't know for what it was made for. It doesn't say in the description. But as you can see, they're all working. And now that we have had some gameplay of that, we can end it here. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the, in the comments below or write them in Discord. Here we can see the blue eye of shadow. We can see that Kaiba is correctly rendered. Black Yoshi is correctly well, well done. And Zelda looks completely fine. And these mods were made. The Zelda mod was made by Lucky Jiro. The Shadow mod was made by Mastaklo. The Black Yoshi mod was made by 11CM. Zero Kaiba voice mod was made by Brawl. Look at this. And Zero Kaiba mod was made by DSX. Eight, and this one as you can see in the description says it's made for ARC installer and UMM the Zelda one says it's made for 
Ultimate mod installer. Black Yoshi doesn't say. So when they do not tell you if they are or not made for it, Ultimate Mod Manager, you have to check if they do work or not. And now we can stop the emulation. If we wanted to uninstall a mod, all we gotta do is go to File, Low File, Ultimate Mod Manager, launch it. And the one you want to uninstall, you'll go to it and click on the white button and it will start uninstalling it and when it says successful you'll know that it's uninstalled and then once it's uninstalled and it says successful that it's not doing anything you can click on emulation stop and go back here and then you can continue playing the game if you don't want the mods make sure that in the game it says right click properties it says SDMC is marked so that we know that Ultimate Mod Manager can apply the mods. 